everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal. I am a part-time online reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace. Today we are doing an unboxing, but it is from a new wholesale company, so stay tuned. If you are not on Instagram, you may not have seen this company come about in the past couple of weeks. I'd say about a month or three weeks ago, this company just kind of popped up out of the blue. Two of the people that I know that are running this company came from Jomar Wholesale, which I have gotten plenty of boxes from them. They're kind of hit and miss and hmm, there are certain things that I would source from them again and certain things that I wouldn't. But these two people are now running this new company and it's called Cozy and that's spelled K-O-S-E-I. And I'll put their logo up here so you can see what it looks like. And honestly, I just kind of purchased it with really no knowledge of what to expect. After I purchased a couple of boxes, I noticed that there were some people on Instagram that were doing unboxings and reels of their own things that they purchased from this company, and they seemed to be pretty good. So, spoiler alert, I have looked in the box. I needed to make sure that they sent me all of the items that I received. I haven't really gotten into the details of their cleanliness, brands, sizing, or anything like that. But first, let me go over what I purchased. So I purchased two boxes. So the first box, which is the box that we are going to unbox today, is the Assorted Boots box. You get 20 pairs of boots for $68. And then I also purchased a Talbot's pre-owned box. You get 30 pieces and I paid $120 for that box. After taxes, shipping, and all of that, I spent a total of $231.92 for 50 pieces. And if you divide that by 50, you get an average cost of goods of $4.64. And let me tell you, around here, I can't find shoes for less than $8, and half of them are garbage. So <laughs> when I saw this deal, I was really excited. So before we dive into this box, I am gonna show you a short clip of how the boots came to me in their box and their packaging. So this is how the boxes come from Cozy. So here it is, and it is a Helpsy um, company, and there's also another company called B Corp. I'm not really familiar about those, but they are in like partners with those brands. So when you open the box, everything comes individually wrapped, which I absolutely love because then you don't have as much breakage or, um, you know, things rubbing together and every single pair is rubber banded. So they also don't slide around. So very impressed with the packaging. Very, very impressed with the presentation. I love that they're all bagged, so they're not knocking up against each other and getting scuffs. That's one of my biggest complaints with the thread up shoe boxes is they just throw them all in together. And what might've been a perfect shoe when they put it in the box certainly isn't when you receive it. So that was awesome. The rubber bands are kind of good depending on the shoe. And I will show you a few examples of why I don't think that they should rubber band all shoes, but happy that they're all together in bags and I am definitely going to reuse those bags. All right, so let's get into it. Um, on the side of my box, it says 20 WB. And WB, I think, stands for Western Boots because I got so many Western boots. I think probably 80% of my box is Western boots. I think I've only sold two pairs of cowboy boots or cowgirl boots. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not really sure if there's a specific season for cowboy boots in general, but I certainly will be finding out in the next couple of months. <laughs> okay, so this is a black pair, has these cool like wing looking pattern to each of the side and also on the inside too. These seem to be in good condition. A little bit of dirt on the bottom, not huge. I don't see any brands or sizes, so let me see. This is Rampage. I'm not gonna try to show you because you will definitely not be able to see it. So this is the style Wambly. 
that's what it says, Wembley. Uh, size 10, medium, and these are actually not leather. These are just faux leather. A little bit of scuffing or something over here. Actually, I think that's just dirt, so hopefully that will come up, but these are cute. I don't think I've ever sold Rampage before, but they seem to be a good substantial piece. All right, this next pair, actually something broke within the bag. Um, this little buckle, which I haven't identified which buckle it is, just totally busted into pieces. So here they are. Well, let me take the rubber band off. Up here it says original, original to what? I don't know. Love the like distressing or fading. A lot of this is done on purpose to make it look rugged and rustic. Love all of these details here. And this is by the brand Rancho. I think that's what that says, Rancho. I don't, oh, I think maybe this buckle. Yeah. Okay. So this is the buckle that broke off, which doesn't seem to be like a huge issue. Just have to tuck that in there. Obviously I'll just close it, but here is what it should look like on that side. Um, the bottoms are kind of dirty, but I mean, the heel looks to be in great condition. You can see the nails in there. Um, their logo is on the bottom. Yes. Extra fine collection Rancho Boots, the original since 1942. And these are made in Mexico. Um, and they are size, I have no idea, actually. So cowboy boots, like actually made for cowboys and cowgirls and ranch people, um, they have a lot of different sizing. They have um, different like widths and things like that. So I know a little bit of information about it, but here it says um, 26 and then EE, which I believe is the width or narrowness, whatever that ends up being. And then it also says 1092 and H19. So I'm assuming, no, oh. Oh, <laughs> here's the sizing. So it looks like it's a size seven or 37. I'll have to go to their website and like make sure and to see if these are men's and women's. That's the other thing about cowboy boots. Sometimes you can't tell and sometimes they're unisex. So it just depends on the specific company. We have this very, very dusty pair of boots. There's so much dust on here. Ugh. Okay, so these are actually a BOC or Bach. I do enjoy selling this brand. I think I have sold a pair of boots like these. These aren't cowboy boots, but um, the like mid calf size I have definitely sold before. Zipper on the one side, which is nice to get in and out. The bottom seemed to be in okay condition, obviously dirty. In fact, my pants are really dirty right now. <laughs> Um, leather upper balance man-made materials size seven and a half so these are cool next pair of cowboy boots western boots whatever we want to call them these are a size six the bottoms look really good on these I don't think that these are leather I think that they are faux leather because you can see some of it's like chipping here or that's paint Hmm, not really sure. These are cute. The brand Soda. Um, there is a little bit of like crinkling going on here. Kind of sounds like maybe the lining's disintegrating. So I'll have to do a more thorough check of them, but they are pretty cute. We have almost an identical pair to those, but these are different. These have like a quilting effect to them. I lost the other pair. Here it is. That one's a little bit smushed. And this is Madden Girl. These seem to be really small too. These are, oh, 
that's in there that's cool that's just in one though <laughs> um these are the sanguine w um it's a size 6w uh polyurethane upper and sock so these are faux leather boots we have these crazy things like the stacked like rustic looking heel back here um let's see if there's any brands the bottoms look really nice someone wanted five dollars for them whoever was trying to sell them i don't know what any of that means let's see if we can find a brand has this zipper on the side these are oh steve madden surprising that it wasn't on the bottom and these are the Rodundo size eight and a half leather upper and also textile. This is the textile part up here. These are cute. I just hit myself in the face with that one. Woo, these are heavy, dang. Okay, right off the bat, I'm seeing there's a little bit of chipping to the leather here. Um, but I do like the like bronzy effect that's going on. that side this side and the bottoms I don't know what that is ew I'm pretty sure it's a cigarette butt <laughs> that's gross um size nine and a half <laughs> makes me really sad um there's that and let's see what brand these are I have no idea. Oh, wait. It's Maurice's. It's very, very faded. Um, and these are the Casey, and it's nine and a half, and they're all man-made material, so faux leather. This is like the only normal pair of boots or, you know, low-top boots. These are a suede with this faux fur lining. Ooh, they're actually really soft inside, too. And these are Skechers really nice condition on the bottom almost like someone had never even worn them these are a size eight and uh leather upper balance man-made material lining and it is the sketchers air cooled goga mat material we have a colorful pair of cowboy boots if you're going to a rodeo this year and you need some cowboy boots hit me up um, oh, and as a disclaimer, these will not be listed by the time this video goes up. I had other videos planned, but since this company is kind of gaining some traction, I wanted to show you what to expect in this box. So if you are interested in anything, my email address is in the description below, or you can also reach out to me on Instagram at Tailored and Teal. <laughs> okay, I absolutely love the colors on this. This just feels like a faux suede. This is so cute. The bottoms are really nice. It's a piece of hair on that one, but not bad. This is by the brand Anne Michelle, and I don't see any sizing. Um, and I also am not familiar with that brand, so I'll have to do a little bit more digging. Maybe if I roll down the top, might be on the inside but these are very cute so here's a little pair of short heeled boots western boots here's the bottoms and these are mia girl or girl mia i mean mia is a brand and i've sold their shoes before so i'm assuming it's girl mia um size eight and yeah it says girl mia these are cute they feel like a faux leather yeah so these are um the la rue and they are all man-made materials these feel very heavy duty i love all the stitching on this one and the color is really cool too And 
the bottoms have some wear to them, but that's pretty normal. The lining isn't the greatest. In fact, it looks like some of it's kind of fallen off or disintegrated. So uh, there are like foot pads all the way down in here and um, I don't really want to take them out right now. So as of right now, I have no idea what brand this is or what size even. It's another pair of short boots. Definitely a Western style. This is the brand Nine West Vintage America collection. Here's the other one. And what's that? Just a sticker. Oh, and staples. Yikes. These are a size 10 and they are the, there's a style name, but I can't really read it, but they are a leather upper. Okay, so here is the example of where I was talking about not rubber banding all the boots. So these are a pair of pony hair or calf hair. I don't know if it's real calf hair, but it's hair of some sort. But they put the rubber band here and it just completely shredded all of this hair off, which is such a shame because these are stinking adorable. They do have a zipper on the side here. I have already looked at these before because um, someone had asked me a question on Instagram and there is no brand. There is someone's name on the inside and it says um, Halloween. Um, and they're also a size 35 and a half. So bummer about this. I'll see if I can sell them. <sighs> it even got the fur back here. So that's the only bummer so far that I'm seeing. Well, and the broken buckle, but that's probably not their fault. They look like an older boot anyway. Another pair of short boots. These do feel like leather. These are Franco Sardo. Nice condition, a little dirty. And these are a size seven and a half and they are leather uppers. We have some tall lace up boots. These feel like a faux leather. Very cute though. Very like witch vibes, witchy vibes. Uh, these are size eight and they are the brand Dream Pairs, Dream Pairs. I've never heard of that brand. Your dream pair of Dream Pair shoes. <laughs> and we have another heeled lace up booty. I absolutely love the colors on these. This feels like a faux suede. It does have um, some markings over here, but I will just try to clean that the best that I can. Bottoms look great. These are a size seven. And this is by the brand Wild Diva. And they're in nice condition. This is, feels like faux leather and they're not very heavy. So it's another reason why I think they're faux leather. Pair of like mid calf high boots. Ooh, they are very dirty. I'm definitely not putting them on my lap like I have the other ones. There is a little bit of something over here. I think that's just stuff on it, not chipping. This is a size nine and a half. These are called the Duranto. It's the brand Madden Girl again. Okay, these are like thigh high, over the knee type boots. Oof. That was a very thick rubber band there. So these are faux suede. There's a little bit of wear over here. Um, I would say over the knee, ew. I don't know if that's dirt or what, but ugh. Um, this is the brand Catherine Malandrino, size seven and a half. And these are the Amorca, um, all man-made material, faux fur. Where is their fur on these? 
I don't see any faux fur. The tread on this one is a little bit worn. Let's look at this one. There's more wear up here. But I think this is the type of material that I can actually like kind of wash or at least do a little bit more to than just regular suede. So this will be an interesting thing to clean. Then we have these pair of high heeled boots. These are definitely like below the knee. Wow, they're very, very soft. The bottoms look good. Here's the brand, it's Via Spiga. Nice. These are size nine medium. I think these do feel like real leather. Ooh, it is so soft on the inside. Ooh. Yep, and there's Via Spiga in there too. These are really cute. And they seem to be in pretty good condition too. And I saved the funnest pair for last. Yes, I know funnest is not a word, but um, I'm using it today. Woo! <laughs> now, you will probably think that this is like some kind of crazy brand like Jeffrey Campbell or um, what other crazy brand does this stuff. I don't even know. But it's actually Worthington which I think is just sold at JCPenney. These are really cool though. And they are a size six, all man-made materials. These are really fun. And that concludes the boot box. Overall, I'm pretty happy with what I got. Would I like to get a Western boot box again? No. <laughs> but um, would I be willing to try this box again? Probably. I'm gonna have a lot of fun cleaning boots for the next couple of weeks and um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I have signed up for Cozy's Rewards so I'll put my code down in the description below. I don't know if it's a code or a link yet but it'll be down there so you can use it. I am hopeful that this company continues to do well because Jomar was honestly kind of just falling off the grid for me personally but I'm excited to have a new business to source from. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you are not a subscriber and you like videos like this, I do lots of unboxings. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you here. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up before you leave. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.